What's up everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street. I got the best pass play in Madden 15 and Madden 16 right here for y'all. I'm gonna go over it in, when Madden 16 comes out. But for right now, man, I'm gonna describe it to y'all. First, I'm gonna tell y'all when this play does not work. Um, you can see on these first couple of plays, I, I tried to run it no huddle. And running it no huddle, you kind of anticipate things quicker. So I suggest you take your time, you know, just call it again. Try to hurry the offense up a little bit. Not every play, because then you, you anticipate things quicker. And you don't want to do that. You know, you start anticipating people run quicker. And also, when doing the hurry up, you're prone to fumble more often. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. But... What does beat this play is when people drop this drop their linemen back in the coverage. Like every pass play, if you do that, then there's a lot more people to worry worry about, a lot, a lot less holes to get the ball into. So if they do start to do that, start running the ball. Don't run it. Don't do not run this play every play. I did it in this game just to show you how I'm looking at it. Some people don't drop their linemen in the coverage which is great for this pass play you know what i'm saying they try all these new types of coverages like man and cover three cover six it doesn't work you know what i'm saying if you get your reads right get everything right it does not work i want you to watch what i'm doing here watch what i'm doing this guy that i was playing he ran a lot of cover three he was trying to make adjustments on that play he manned up the x wide receiver and had nobody in the flat so we throw the ball to the flats with this running back and for this running back running back position you definitely gonna want somebody that knows how to, how to juke that can juke real well somebody like jamal charles or darren Sproles or somebody like that this in this case i got the anthony thomas and we just fade in this cornerback this is an ultimate team don't know who number 23 is on his team but he's getting faded all game and this x route that goes above of the running backs route is definitely going to get open against man against uh cover three if the flat route comes down i mean the flat zone comes down it definitely gonna get open against the cover two sink stuff like that against cover four might not because they actually play back on that route against cover four but the other route i like on this play is the rb route because if you hit the rb routes enough times the linebackers will start to come up off of the a route they start to play closer to the line of scrimmage which is definitely what you want and it opens up that hole for this big old tight end to catch the ball in so it's real great um the b route on the right side i rarely throw that route it's like the ultimate ultimate check down route like usually y is the check down but if he's covered usually b comes across the middle very late and it's really just a check now, you know what I'm saying? It's either it's either I pass it to B at the end of the play or I just take off with the quarterback, you know what I'm saying? So that's the B route. Maybe in Madden 16, I could hot route some for him and then that actually be something great. Or we can do it now, put him on the smoke screen or something like that, put him on the street. Maybe it's better. I don't know. I don't, I don't I leave everything alone with this play. There's no hot routes. And you see I throw an interception here. That's my second turnover. But I wasn't. That, that interception was not from the play. If you go back and look, that's a goal line formation down count. You feel me? This is only about showing y'all this play. And I think if you run this play enough times, I've probably ran it over a thousand times against the computer offline. And I can say that I have probably, it all takes time. You feel me? It takes time to master a play. But I can say I am really, really good with this play. The lag kind of did not show that right there. Almost threw an interception on it. But I haven't thrown an interception in a while. I'm going to show you all the stats that Teddy Bridgewater has after this game. The lag helps me out after almost messing me up. We hit the spin move with DeAndre Hopkins on that route. Pass let it up. And we end up getting the touchdown. I'm going to show you all the stats. But like I said, leave y'all suggestions in the comment section. What y'all think about it. I'm going to go over it again in Madden 16 when that comes out. But uh, this video is coming to an end. So always remember... In the street we trust, I'm out.